facing backwards. This does allow them greater agility as they are traversing the branches of the rainforest. Now even though most of their time is spent in the trees, it is a remarkable sight to see these birds take flight. They will top speeds of 50 to 60 kilometers per hour and use those long, beautiful tails you see on our macaws out here today to steer themselves as well as to fan them out when they do need to slow down and land safely. Now there is no mistaking a parrot simply by their colors. These guys can actually see in many colors as well. This comes in very handy when they're trying to identify one another treetop to treetop, as well as when they're trying to distinguish between ripe and unripe fruit. Now we would like to prove the fact that these guys can actually see in different colors, but of course we can't do that alone. So I'm looking for the help of one final volunteer who wants to come on down, give us a hand. All right, lots of hands, lots of hands. How about you there in the top with the pink sweater? Yeah, you wanna come on down and we'll put you to work. All right, well for this demonstration, we have rings of four different colors on the table, red, green, blue, and yellow. Indigo, our blue and gold, with blue and gold macaw with Megan over there has been trained to pick out only the two blue rings. So when Indy finds the blue ring, she takes it out of the pile, places it up onto that post, hoping that we'll convince you all she can see those different colors. So the reason we have our volunteer down here is to mix up and hide those blue rings anywhere on the table. It's fair game for Indy. And it looks like we have quite the challenge set ahead of us. So let's see, Indigo, what you have in store. Waddling confidently, starts rooting through. Gets her first blue ring. Pressure is on, Indy. And she gets it. There's no fooling her. She sees all of those colors. In fact, these birds see more than you and I. They see into the UV spectrum. Indy's done a great job proving a point, but I think the real round of applause goes to our helpful volunteer today. Now I do have one final question for you guys. It's a pretty easy one. So if you think you know the answer, just go ahead and shout it on out. But what are parrots most famous for? Talking, that's right. Well, here at Parrot Paradise, the stars of our presentation are without a doubt our talking Amazons. Center stage here for you, we have Fernando. He is our yellow-naped Amazon. Now he has a little bit of a chatterbox, but when I say a little, I actually mean a lot. So let's see what he has to say for you guys. All right, well, he loves to start off by greeting everyone. Hello! Be <laughs> cheerful, little guy. Fernando is a polite little bird, so a question to ask you all. How are you? Hello. Great big how are you, and I do see some smiles out there. Can't tell by looking at him or any of the other parrots we have out here right now is whether or not the males are females. Quite often within their own species in the parrot family, males and females look exactly the same to you and I. Now, we know he's a male because we've sent a drop of his blood away to a lab where they're able to determine that through his DNA. Should have just listened to him because he likes the girl's attention on him. What happens when you see one of our female Amazon? <laughs> Little bit of a flirt, isn't he? Well, you guys are laughing, good thing, because he thinks he's pretty funny. <laughs> a little bit of a comedian. By nature, parrots are very playful. Of course, no exception to any rule. Fernando has a favorite game he likes to play with us. I think he might be able to figure out what it is. <laughs> Loves a good tickle. Now, he's also known as our master of sound effects. He's picked up a few living with us. First off, the sound we make, we drink a cold glass of water. <laughs> Some good little chocolates. He's also learned to snort like a pig. <laughs> a bit rude, but we're not done yet. Why not the bark of a dog? yappy little dog barks. Now he's obviously talented. His talents extend musically. Loves whistling and singing. Keep in mind as he whistles for you, it is different every presentation. He's always insisted on making a tune-up as he goes along. See what he has for you all today. There you have a very lovely Fernando original. Yeah. Certainly going to take that round of applause. Unfortunately, his abilities to sing are pretty limited to the fact that he's been learning to sing from us. Honest enough to admit, we have not been the best example. So I'm going to ask everybody to use your imagination. I hope you might be able to recognize his favorite song. 
No one actually sings like that. You guys should be laughing at him. Let's clear you up, buddy. There we go. A few coughs, bit of a treat. I think I might have him back on track. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, I don't think you might have recognized that, but his attempt at our national anthem, as we don't have parrots native to this country, all the ones here have hatched here. He's proud of the country he has hatched in. Let's try that again. Very patriotic. He's done a great job for us today. Let's hear it from him. Now here at African Lions Ferry, we believe that the first steps in conservation are education. So hopefully you've enjoyed meeting some birds, but maybe you've even learned a thing or two today. So on a bit of a conservation note, I'm going to draw everyone's attention back to Olivia on the far side there, our blue-throated macaw. What makes her so special? Well, she is one of those critically endangered species. The blue-throated macaw can only be found in the wilds of Bolivia. Their numbers there are ranging in a couple of hundred individuals. So to put that into a bit of perspective, there's certainly a lot more of you sitting in our audience today than there are of her wild counterparts. So here at the African Lions Ferry, we have joined partnerships with the World Parrot Trust, looking towards the future of the blue throated macaw, not only at our park here, but we do hope to have an impact on those numbers in the wilds one day. And it certainly did start for us last June. We welcomed our very first two hatch babies here at the park. We'd love to introduce you to Levi and Benny. Now, if you want any more information about our conservation efforts and our blue throated macaw breeding project, come on down, ask those questions about that or any of the birds you've met out here today, of course. Don't forget though, around the corner in 10 minutes is our next bird of prey flying demonstration of the day. This little green guy has you a foot wave goodbye. Thank you very much for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day here on Safari. Goodbye now.